Yeah, it's a shorted, shorted owl. set up ready to go um, it's quite nice actually the sun's out casting a nice bit of uh, light coming from behind me at the minute um, I'm hoping that we can um, pick up a possible short-eared owl or maybe a barn owl or anything else that's around really um, there is a storm coming in later so I'm you know I'm trying to get a, a few hours in before that comes so fingers crossed we'll uh, we'll get some something decent uh, to show you later on um, the short-eared owl here is, you know, it's been seen pretty much daily for the last week, um, and it has showed itself this morning. Unfortunately, I couldn't get here in time this morning, um, but hopefully it will come out this afternoon. I'll be able to show you some nice bit of video and maybe some nice pictures. Um, but like I said before, with wildlife and nature photography, uh, it's never guaranteed. So you know, we just have to go with what we've got and hope we'll um, we'll pick up some images later on. So I've just seen um, another Merlin come straight across the top, right past where my lens barrel is, and uh, right up over the back. Um, just been having a bit of a conflab with a kestrel. Um, and it's gone a bit quiet, so I'm hoping soon we may get signs of uh, a short eared owl coming out before it gets a bit dark, really. Now we've got approaching that quarter to three now. Still really only one possible owl visible uh, in the distance that we had just checking, uh, checking out some corvids uh, and then they were getting mobs so uh, so far that's all. There's an absolutely beautiful bit of light coming across at the moment. Um, I'm not sure how long that light's going to last because the weather is due to come in. We've got Storm Sebastian coming in in a few hours so I'm hoping that the shorties will come out and the barn owl, which is just in the barn to the left, is going to come out to uh, to feed before the weather comes in, uh, all being well. As I say, there were seven short-eared owls over this short area over the last week, 
So uh, fingers crossed, something will um, will turn up. We currently have here we've got a, a kestrel which has just landed on the, uh, the barn roof that's now blown off, um, and it's facing there into wind, um, having a little scout around to see what's about. Hopefully, it will come across this way. Such a beautiful little bird and in massive decline at the moment. So I'm currently tucked in behind the uh, land at the minute. There's a vicious wind right behind me, southwesterly. Um, and one of the things when using a large prime lens, like a, like a 600, like this one, you need a really fast shutter speed, really, something above a thousandth of a second, really, to, to sort of freeze any any motion blur so when you're panning around you really need to have the fastest possible shutter speed uh, you can and one good thing you can actually do is when you're training with the lens barrels have obviously your depends which hand you're on for your uh, for the shutter button is have the opposite hand and put it on the end of the lens barrel there just to give it an added bit of stability which helps you really when you're training that lens around and you're trying to um, trying to steady it and create the sharpest possible shot you can um, so anything really helps nice dirty tripod but 60 mile an hour wind blowing behind me so makes things a little bit tricky. So I've just had a little bit of action. Um, the shorted owls just just come out off the back there um, from the tusky sort of grass area and, and popped up and uh, a buzzard came in and had a bit of a behavior there, a bit of a confrontation. The buzzard and then tried to drive the the shorted owl off around the back so really really nice to see just off over um, on the back there in the Brackeny area so Hopefully this is a sort of sign of things starting to pick up. Um, fingers crossed, because we've only got another hour before it gets dark. So um, I hope that uh, some more are going to show their faces. Um, because it would be nice to come home with a few decent shots. But we'll, uh, we'll have to see, fingers crossed. Well, the windsy's right off now. And uh, the short-eared owl is out quartering um, just over the, f the uh, field onto a... Uh, a wall and just quartering up and down the wall in the long sort of tusky grass really um, beautiful to watch it looks like a, an adult bird absolutely fantastic and now the lights failing it's kind of nice against the backdrop from behind um, I've captured some video and some stills so hopefully you'll get to see that later fantastic <laughs> today I didn't really get the uh, the shots that I wanted um, but uh, I saw the shorted owl nevertheless got some distant shots um, and a post shot so um, I wanted a bit more behavior today if I could get a bit of interaction between the other short eared owls but uh, uh, it doesn't always pan out that way but uh, great to be out for the afternoon lovely to see the sparrowhawk merlin and the kestrel bit of behavior there bit of corvids as well some ravens some carrion crows and also the buzzard so and some lovely little good old stone chats to cheer you up just in front uh, on some an old gorse stump so yeah all in all really enjoyable day well the lights all but uh, all but gone now um, so uh, no good for any still images I mean anymore so I've just now set up a little bit of video on the barn behind hoping that the barn owl may venture out and I can capture a little bit of a uh, short bit of video on that seeing it quartering around the uh, the field um, but uh, if not I think it's uh, 10 minutes and then time to head home for a nice cuppa um, thanks very much for watching I really really appreciate um, all the comments you've given so far and all the um, subscribers now that have, have signed up to me you know it's absolutely amazing and I'm really really um, thankful for that um, please uh, like my page share and subscribe if you aren't already um, it really really does mean the world to me uh, thanks very much indeed and I'll see you next time mm -hmm.